Francis, student recruitment coordinator. And I'm Xavier, student recruiter. And welcome to LA Trade Tech. Today we'll be taking you guys on a virtual campus tour of our nine pathway programs as well as all of our student service programs as well. At Trade Tech, we have nine pathways. Pathways are programs with similar majors, and each pathway will have their own dedicated space on campus as well as dedicated administrators and counselors to assist you in selecting the courses that you'll take here at Trade Tech. So we'll take you all around campus and you'll learn all about what we have to offer at Trade Tech. Thank you. Hi, so the first stop on our tour is the Student Service Center, AKA The Hub. Here in this building, we have the Bridges to Success Center, our Academic Connections, Dream Resource Center, our Center for Students with Disabilities, the Library, our LACP, College Lab and Office, as well as our Veterans Resource Center. So follow me inside for more information. So we're here in the Bridges to Success Center and with me is staff Veronica Lopez. Veronica, can you tell me more about what you do here at the Bridges to Success Center? Yes, of course. So here at Bridges to Success, we're kind of like a one-stop shop where we help students apply to the school, register for classes, meet with the counselor, reset their password, and do online orientation. So behind me is our library, and it's on the top floor of the Student Service Center. In the library, you can rent books, there's computer labs, there's study rooms, as well as lounge areas for you to come and study in between classes. So behind me is our Dream Resource Center. Our Dream Resource Center has services for our undocumented student population. In this center, you can get assistance with completing your Dream Act. You can also get assistance with completing your residency forms. And we can also connect you with community resources and legal services as well um, that will assist you on your journey here at Trade Tech. So this is our Veterans Resource Center. Our Veterans Resource Center is open for veterans as well as veteran dependents, as well as active duty military. Here you can get assistance in certified officials who can help you with your educational benefit here at Trace Tech. So behind me is our Disabled Student Programs and Services Center. This program services students who have disabilities. So if you have an IEP in high school, we do have additional services that are available for you. Those services include, but are not limited to, ASL interpreters, note taking, as well as testing accommodations. So if you do need additional assistance, if you do have an identified disability, please come here to this office and utilize the services. And go. The D3 building also houses our Student Health Care Center. Your student health fee will give you access to the services provided here. Some of those services will be over the counter medicine, preventative health care, as well as personal therapy. Walk in appointments are available. So, the last stop in our Student Service Center, aka the Hub, is our LA College Promise Lab slash office. Here, you can stay current on what's happening with LA College Promise, you can connect with your student success coach, and you can also make sure you're staying on top of your LA College Promise requirements. Next stop on our tour, we have the E5 building, Administration and Services. Here, located on the first floor, you can find financial aid where you can check the status of your application. For more information or help with your financial aid, you can also visit the lab on the third floor of the same building. We also have the admissions and records department where you can transcript as well as apply for graduation. And finally, the business office where you can pay your fees as well as get your parking permit. And here on the second floor of the administration building, you'll find the university transfer center as well as the cross-cultural center. Here on the second floor, we have our university transfer center. If you're interested in transferring to a four-year university, this is the place to be. They can help you with your university applications as well as you'll be meeting with the university rep. building you'll find EOPS, the Career Center, as well as Gain CalWorks. So we're standing in our School of Liberal Arts 
building or F5 building. In this building, you can do your general education courses, especially if you're transfer bound. Um, also part of our liberal arts pathway are programs such as English, math, sociology, uh, psychology, if you're interested in going into behavioral sciences, and natural sciences. Here we are in front of building D6, our Child Development Center, where our students that are going into careers in child development can pursue their certificate or degrees. It also serves as a child care center for any of our student parents. Here we have building D4, the home of the School of Design and Media Arts. One of the more popular programs in here is the Fashion Design Pathway Program. Fashion Design uh, Program does a fashion show where they partner up with the Cosmetology Program once a year to give different looks uh, for the runway. But other programs that are also offered in the School of Design and Media Arts that are also housed here at D4 include Design and Media, Visual Graphics, Visual Communications, and Computer Information Systems. So this is our C4 building. In our C4 building, there are two pathway programs that you can find here. You can find our School of Applied Sciences as well as our School of Business and Civic Engagement. In our School of Applied Sciences, this is where you would take your um, science classes if you're taking any lab sciences -ish or biology. The programs that are associated with applied sciences would be engineering, process tech, chem tech, as well as chemistry. Also in this building, again, is our business and civic engagement pathway. Here, you'll find all of our business and uh, civic or public service programs. So this is our B4 building and inside of B4 is our School of Culinary Arts. And when this school first started, Culinary Arts is one of the programs that the school started with. Uh, within our Culinary Arts pathway, we have General Culinary Arts if you're interested in cooking, uh, interested in being a chef and want to go into more of the savory side. We also have a baking professional program if you're interested in the sweet side. Let's say you want to be a pastry chef. In addition, we have a restaurant management program. Here we're standing in front of building B2, B3, where it houses our School of Cosmetology as well as our School of Health and Related Sciences. In the School of Cosmetology, we have cosmetology, barbering, and skin therapy. Within our, our School of Health and Related Sciences, our, one of our most popular programs, our nursing program. It is a, there is a, a wait list at the moment, a one-year wait list, um, but our RN to BSN program, we do have partners with Cal State LA, Cal State Fullerton, as well as Cal State Northridge. Um, as well as any other programs in health related science that you may be interested in. Maybe you want to go into physical therapy. We also have the kinesiology program as well. So we're standing in front of our B1 building. Our B1 building is our advanced transportation and manufacturing pathway. Within this building, you'll find all of our transportation related programs, including automotive, diesel mechanic, collision and motorcycle mechanic. So if you're interested in any of our transportation related programs, then this is a pathway for you.
So we're standing in the C2 building or the Tom Bradley Center for Student Life. And inside of this building, you can find ASO and the WorkSource Center. The WorkSource Center is a partnership that we have with the CRDC that provides services for both our students and the community. Those services include resume writing skills, interview workshops, as well as assistance with job placement. So also in the Tom Bradley Center for Student Life is our ASO Lounge. Our ASO Lounge is for our students, it's ran by our students, and ASO stands for our Associated Student Organization. Here you'll find our student clubs and our student government that advocates for our students here on campus. Behind me, you'll see one of our classrooms for our carpentry school uh, in building E2. E2 houses our school of construction, maintenance, and utilities. Some of the more popular programs within that pathway are electrical, carpentry, HVAC, plumbing, power lines, mid, etc. So if you like to work with tools and get your hands dirty, E2 and the CMU school will be the perfect place for you. So the last stop on our campus tour is our G2 building or our gymnasium. Our gym serves as a co-working space for student athletes and currently we have two athletic programs. That will be our men's basketball team and our women's basketball team. We also have an Olympic size pool. So this concludes our campus tour. Hopefully you've gotten all of your questions answered about what we have to offer at LA Trade Tech. Should you have more questions, please feel free to reach out to me. My email address is outreach at latc.edu. I'll see you next semester. Thank you.